Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial. Now this tutorial is mainly aimed at beginners and it is partly an answer to a problem that somebody was having in a Facebook group. But it's, we're going to look at using the stock photos which is the stock photo tab is here in the middle panel here and if you can't see it and you haven't got it in your set up you can come to the view menu studio and just click on the word stock to put a tick there and it will turn up over here but by default it should be there so I'm going to use the unsplash and I've just typed in the word lady and then you get all these various images of ladies now you, c you can click on an image say this one here and you you bring it try and bring it into Affinity Photo, nothing happens. Which is a shame, really. It's a shame you can't just automatically open. Um, so you first need to make a document for this to fit into. So if I come up to File and New, now I'm going to make this really big. I'm going to make it A3, which is bigger than twice the size than most printers can handle, but we'll make it A3 and I'm going to make it the orientation landscape and click create now if I come back to the layers panel here as you can see there is no layer yet although this is here and it is visible sort of think of this as like your like a table and you're going to place things onto the table the table will never end up being part of you the thing that you make um, and the thing that you save it is just there to confine the area that you can work in and on. So if I come back to the stock tab and now if I click and drag this image into the middle of the document area and release it will then place that image into the confined area that I have set. Now if I come to the move tool and I zoom out you can see that the actual image is even bigger than A3 and to get this image to fit so most people you know some people would sort of reduce the size of this to fit as best as they could and either you know, fit it as best as they can and then start working from there or what they might do is to reduce it to less the size in the document and then use the crop tool zoom back in again so I can see this yeah, use the crop tool to get it to the size so they get the whole image that's close enough so there, you know, there, there were ways especially when I first started using Affinity Photo that's how I would have done it either you know, reduce the size as best I could to fit the document size or reduce if you want the whole image reduce it to smaller than the document size and then crop off the areas that you don't want let me just get rid of that the better way of doing it so again I make an A3 landscape is to just click and drag this like we did before but this time if you come up to the document menu and come down to clip canvas now I don't think this is a, a shortcut that is by default I think I made this myself I made mine alt and C um, but you can just click on clip canvas and let affinity photo reduce the size of the image for you to fit the document so basically that is it really just come up to document, clip canvas 
and the image that you've dragged into your document area will then fit and then you can come back to layers and you now have a layer on your document and if you then you know then do decide to crop something off of this down like this you're not suddenly getting or you know the background because the background document area is no longer there because it has sort of been merged in using the clip canvas command so basically that really that is it so uh, my advice is where possible use the clip canvas command and make a shortcut for it and if you're going to be using stock photos quite often but obviously if you've already got it on your computer you just load it in so that wouldn't it be a problem but if you're going to be using stock photos my advice would be to use the clip canvas so thank you for watching and goodbye